Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you've seen from the thumbnail, I'm going to be painting some plastic trim on my car. Now, there's a plethora of ways to do this. There's various methods. Uh, I've basically gone for the cheapest. Um, whether that'll work out or not, I don't know. But, you know, this is what we, we find out now. It's only a very small couple of things that I'm painting. I think it will change up the look. Uh, I'm also going to paint my skid plate as well. Different type of paint I'm going to use on that. But again, kind of gone for the cheapest method in my eyes just to really see how it sort of works out i mean if it doesn't i haven't wasted much just a bit of my own time and a bit of fun while i've been trying to film it so anyway i'll show the paint show what i'm going to do and let's crack on so guys these are the paints i'm going to use as I said, I'm going to do my fog lights surrounds. Uh, they are silver sort of plastic, so I'm going to give them a bit of a scuff up, and then I'm just going to apply this. Now it says you don't need to prime it; you can just paint all over it. Uh, I, I have primer. Um, if I need to use it, I'll use it. But I'm thinking I'll give it a coat. If it starts to peel off, if it doesn't sort of adhere to it properly, you know, it's no drama. It's just to take it off and do it again. It, you know, it takes a 20 minutes. This one is for the skid plate. This is uh, direct to rust metal paint. Now, again, I've, as you can see, I've got a little bit of sandpaper here. You're not, well, it says you, you don't have to do it. Um, yeah, it's entirely up to you, but I think the sort of more rust you can get away or get off, you know, ideal. But as you'll see, anyway, it's not actually that bad. This is just more of a test because I want to do like the frame rails and that eventually with this uh, truck anyway, so. Yeah, not too bad. Right guys, so these are the bits I want to sort of paint black. As you can see there, well, they're silver and the whole truck's black, so I just think it'll look better. Um, obviously one either side, they're easy enough to get off. Um, they just basically pop out. There's a couple of tabs uh, either side, one there, well, two there, and then one up here, and one at the bottom. Now you can actually get to it underneath if you need to pop the tabs, but these ones should come off pretty easily. and skid plate now yeah it's just surface rust but I'm just wondering how it'll actually come out with this uh, new paint so I'm going to remove that it is just a case of a couple of bolts at the back one there one there and then a couple here at the front um, and eventually I'm going to try and get this off as well um, just underneath the aftermarket uh, light bar which will go eventually but for now but yeah maybe i can get this off as well but we'll see uh yeah let's crack on okay okay guys so as you've seen from the time lapse uh the fog light covers come off first so these are them they're just Standard plastic ones, like I said, a couple of tabs, easy to just sort of pull out. The thing is with these bits, don't pull them out too fast because you may break them. So it's just a case of getting that bit of leverage and then just sort of slowly prying them out. Now, my intention is with these just really, probably just to scuff them up just ever so slightly. So I'm gonna use some uh, sandpaper that I've got here and I'll show you my uh, amazing uh, temporary makeshift paint booth that I got from a well-known let me say flat pack furniture company it's pretty cool actually but yeah i'll show you that a little trick as well but yeah i'll give these a quick sand down and then uh, i'll apply the paint see what it looks like right guys as you've seen from the time lapse um i've put it in a box um, my little spray booth I've given it a quick mask off but that's only really just to um, keep the tabs the same colour really so we don't you know well you don't really have to but so I've keyed it 600 grit um, the paint says you don't really need to do this so we'll see but well we'll give it a go and uh, yeah like I say it's scuffed up now um, so I'm going to shake the paint up give it a spray and see well put a first coat down and then see how it looks Right 
All right, guys, that's the first coat down. Just a, I say a light coat, but yeah. So I'll give that 10, 15 minutes to dry. Now, the good thing we're using one of these boxes, I find, is that if it's weather's not great or you're you know, scared something might fall on it, you can just put the lid down. How crazy is that? All right then, guys, so while I'm waiting for coat number one to finish on the fog lights, I'm gonna try the other paint. Let's see how that goes on the skid plate. I'm still in two minds whether I should prep it or not. Hmm. Hmm. This is direct to rust. Maybe I'll just give it a clean. I like that idea. So guys, it's been about 20 minutes now and uh, that looks like it's drying a nice sort of satin. Um, it's pretty good for a first coat anyway. So yeah, I'll uh, leave it a bit more, put a second coat on. Oh, while I'm at it, look. Preparing paint booth number two. <laughs> right guys, so under tray's been washed. Um, I haven't really sanded it, I don't see the point. Um, I mean, they're cheap to pick up if you want a new one, but it's a skid plate, so I just want it to look a bit better, to be honest. It doesn't look too bad now it's cleaned up, but what I'm gonna use is this direct to rust. So we'll give it a go, see what it comes out like. guys so the first coat maybe even the only coat's gone down on that I did both sides uh, quickly I'm just gonna let it dry now now that's direct on so I mean it's supposed to be like pretty hard it, it dries like matte um, so we'll just leave it for an hour or so see how it sort of looks um, I mean you're not really gonna know any sort of difference until you it's been on the car for a few months but yeah I mean I'd like to have prepped it but for the sake of it just being a skid guard you know like I say not pretentious I don't really think to be honest that i really needed to do it it was just something to do more than anything but uh yeah happy days all right that's uh drying nicely uh you know i said i wasn't very precious well that's how i said i've become the captive uh nuts that go on they and now when they go on that they're gonna look honking so i'm gonna paint them as well just for poops put them in a bit of cardboard just to protect the thread so i just want a coat on the top it's probably gonna scratch off as soon as i put it back on but eh little things right guys so the second coat's gone on um to be honest i don't think it needs a third coat i'm debating whether or not to do it i mean it's, it's pretty much dry to the touch now yeah it's pretty much good to go oh yeah i think i think one more coat just for poops and giggles and then uh yeah should be good all right guys the so second coat's gone down happy days uh really nice yeah again skid plate and my uh, bolts, because, yeah, cool. Uh, third coat on the plastic paint, looking pretty cool. I reckon that'll be 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes, and they'll be ready to go back on the car. Maybe that a bit longer, but, yeah, happy days. So, guys, it's been about 25 minutes now, and they're absolutely dry. As you can see where I've masked it off, or masking tapes off it's not a perfect job by any stretch but once it's actually plumbed into the car you'll never notice so yeah i really like that it's come out a really nice sort of satin finish as well it's really nice so hopefully i mean it, it will last quite a, a while that was three coats on it anyway so this one however yeah it's not even touched dry yet it's they reckon two to three hours for this one so not a problem i'll uh, smash them on i'll get these on and see what they look like Right guys, so that's it. So basically the, the best way to do it, I find, is to line up the tabs there on that side. Line up the tabs on this side. Once they're all lined in, just basically give it a, a push. I'll need two hands for this, hang on. All right, so that's it pushed in, look. I think that flows really nice, actually. Six quid, bargain. Uh, I'll get the other one in, so I'll show you before. And now and after. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think. Um, so it goes with the colour of the truck. Um, just adds to it. I didn't like it. So now I know how that plastic paint's worked out. I am definitely going to somehow figure out how to get this off and clean it once I sort this light bar out. But 
that'll be for another day. I don't, don't need to do a video on that, but right, I'll stick the other one in and yeah, golden. Right then guys, as you've seen from like a sketchy time lapse on my belly, that's the under trait on. Let's see if I can get a bit of light on it. I mean, thing is now everything else looks bad. <laughs> so yeah, but it's a skid plate. Yeah, you know, we've said this before, it's exactly what it is. You know, it's designed to take the brunt. So it's probably never meant to look pretty. It just, I thought I'd give that paint a try and uh, see what we come up with. So that's what it looks like. Happy days. Stuff in there look pretty cool though. Hi right, guys, so as you've seen, uh, three layers of paint for the plastic trim and they look pretty cool on the car to be honest. Um, I think they definitely change the look and for essentially seven pound, you think six for the paint, pound for the sandpaper, a bit of my time. Yeah, no drama, it looks pretty good. And for the, as for the skid plate, as I've said before, it, it's a skid plate, you know, it's, it's, it's going to get knocks, it's going to get sort of damaged, but it just, for my eyes, it's just a bit more pleasing. And if that paint's any good, again, I think for both of these, we'll, we'll find out in sort of a few months, really, just to see how they last and how they sort of hold up. But, you know, for basically under 20 quid, quite a bit under 20 quid, I've, I've managed to to do that. So yeah, not too bad for a bit of a, an afternoon's work. Plus the weather was quite nice, so I enjoyed it. But yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Uh, reviews and some updates on the Monza and some updates on the Manta as well. So yeah, we'll keep you informed anyway. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ta-ra.